every night we all had to go into the shelter and uh, you can imagine that all in one room. We had to do that because we were on the um, fly path for Kingston and they were trying to get munitions. So we had a dog fight every night over New Malden. Wherever you were, if you were out, they made you, the wardens made you go undercover. And one particular night I came off the train and um, the sirens went and I thought, oh, I'm not going across there. I'm going to run for it. So I did and um, got almost home and got blown in literally to the golf club and uh, had to wait in there until uh, all clear went and then went home. The next morning, when I got to the station, I couldn't believe it. There'd been a direct hit on this shelter that I was supposed to have gone into. So I sort of had nine lives after that because it happened to me three times. <laughs> it was very scary. I mean, you never knew from one minute if you were going to be blown up. And um, even on the buses in London, getting from the city to Waterloo, there were incendiary bombs that came through the roof of the buses. And um, several times I just missed one of those. When I was down at Dover as an ordinary wren, um, there wasn't room for me to sleep in the um, Dover College, which the rest of the people did. So I was sleeping in an outhouse with two other girls. I suppose I was there for about three months. And um, the ruling was that the day workers had to go out into the country at the full moon because the college itself was such a target for the raids. And um, I'd heard out how awful it was out there, so I never let on that I didn't go. But this particular day, I was called into the office and they said, Baldry, you don't go out to the country at the full moon. So I said, well, no, because I've never been told to. So she said, you go out tonight, just like that. So I went out that night. Next morning, came back, being a direct hit right through my bed. Nothing left at all except a radio, which I managed to tie up and it still worked. But that was incredible. And that was a real miracle. The very first time that I'd gone out. And I put myself into God's hands every day. And, uh, well, the proof of the pudding was the meeting. He really saw me through. Having had so many close shaves. Mm.